Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. If this is your first time here, what we do is we take a look at a can or a bottle of beer. Sometimes a wine or a spirit might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We read everything on the label. We check out the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. A couple things first. What we do here is we always have the same glassware for all of our tastings. That way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. Also, most people, when they do a tasting, they will take a look. They will sniff, sip, and let you know what they think. Well, I sip first. Why? Wine expert Fred Dax can explain it all to you a lot better than I can. Finally, all temperatures should be, <laughs> all beers should be served at the right temperature. Lagers from 37 to 47 degrees Fahrenheit and ales 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The good folks at Thermoworks sent me one of their lollipop thermometers so we can test the temperature for all of the beers that we taste here at the Old Growler. There is a link in the description box if you are interested. All right, you had a little bit of a tease there early. What do we have today from the Alewife Brewing Company in Queens, New York? Death to Ego. Poor Ego. You know, everybody's knocking on Ego. Everybody's got a big Ego. He doesn't have any Ego at all. Ah. Oh, well. Death to Ego. And that's an evil looking uh, gold, gold and, and black and red. And, oh, that's a scary one. Okay. This is a double dry hop featuring Azeka, Centennial, and El Dorado. All right, so they've given us a breakdown on the hops. That's kind of good. And it says it is 6.1% alcohol by volume. The government tells me not to be uh, operating heavy machinery or a pregnant woman. Okay, I'm neither one of the, any one, any one of those. They have the uh, little square on there that you can you put your camera on and take a picture and get all kinds of information, I imagine. $5.99 at the local beer barrel. All right, a double dry hop featuring, okay, a, a, a centennial, I know that those are, that's kind of a, of a uh, it gives a, kind of a, 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 a fruity, a, a solid uh, pit type of fruit, solid pit. Um, and El Dorado, if I'm not mistaken, is a little bit spicy. So I'm expecting a dark amber, uh, very effervescent, uh, very rich, full-bodied, um, nicely roasty malt with enough hops in there. And apparently they've made a real combination here of something that's a little bit spicy. And I imagine so a lot of stone fruit type of uh, cherry type of flavor. So we'll crack this open and see if it meets those expectations. Ooh, that's an active can. All right, here we go. It's a little light and it's cloudy. Everybody loves making cloudy beer. I don't know why that is so, but there you go. All right, well, it looks like, looks like an ale. All right. Let's see, it's the right temperature. We are at 50.1 degrees Fahrenheit, so it is right on, ideal for the temperature. It looks relatively ideal for an ale. Let's, cry, let's, <coughs> let's see if it tastes like one. Cheers. Yeah, I did take two sips. The reason why is that my taste buds, they're very lazy. Most of them are napping, so they have to be woke. Well, now they're woke. We're gonna <clears throat> let the friends up there in the old factory system check it out now. Wow, there is a very nice, um, 
vegetation, uh, kind of a leafy, uh, that springtime uh, aroma in the air uh, that is really nice and, and uh, really refreshing. That's, that's the aroma. Let's see what the taste buds have to say. Oh, they're happy. Yeah. This is, it's not a buxom beer, but this is a full-bodied ale. It handles the alcohol very nicely. It has got a rich flavor to it, but not cloying. The the roast on the grain is just to the tip of, you know, where you're saying, hmm, that's kind of toasty. So it is just, this is a nicely balanced piece of work, work of art. It's, it's not as it's, it's scary at all as it, uh, it says, and being dried hopped, I will give it that, it, the aroma. It certainly has a very noticeable, but most pleasant and, and well, well, it just balances out so nicely with the, with the body of the beer. It certainly hits it. Okay, so does. Death to Ego from Alewife Brewing Company meet expectations? It certainly does, in fact, it really does. It, it's a most pleasant beer. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and a thumbs up. If you share, that would be really appreciated and a comment would be outstanding. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.